Hey y'all, it's Sarah, New Life on the Homestead. And today we're making blackberry jam. In here, I have nine cups of black rat or blackberries. They are washed and been dried and I got them put in here. And we're gonna add six cups of sugar to it with the help of my daughter. That's two cups. That's, yep, let's do it. Yep. And then back here I've got the pan with the jars in it going. And I've got my bath, my boiling water canner back there with the water starting to heat. And then my rack ready to put jars on too. And here, grab my masher. As this is heating through, I'll be using the masher. And there's four. And you'll do this until the sugar is dissolved and the berries start to melt into it and then they'll thicken up and you'll get your gel like substance and then it'll be ready to can but we'll do this here for a bit this recipe yields about three pints but I'm doing half pint jars because that's the servings that we like so I've got six half pint jars over here actually seven for good measure just in case here we are mixing this I'll get it going and then I'll show you what it looks like here in just a few minutes after it starts cooking down to get more sugar mixed in it. Okay, it's mixing up better now. Berries are a high acid food, so you don't have to put pectin in it because they fruit and it's natural in its own pectin. So this is just a simple two ingredient recipe, nine cups of berries, six cups of sugar. Okay, so my jam here is starting to boil, got to keep it on a, st a steady boil, stirring constantly so I don't burn it or stick it or anything. And my jars back there, they have to be hot because this is a hot jam and you pack them hot otherwise you'll shatter your glass so steady bear boil and you'll see that there's still chunks in it but that's jam for you so it has pieces of fruit and seed there but right now it's still pretty loose it's not very sticky or anything yet you can use a skim of butter I guess to keep it from foaming over Otherwise, just sift off the foam when you go to put it in your jars. There we go. You can see it boiling. Just still not there yet. Okay, got a good boil going here. Looks like it's pretty sticky. Let me do it here. We did use a thermometer in it. It's hard to read, so I can't didn't really show it to you there, but it is up to about 210, 212 degrees. So we're getting ready to pull this off here and pour it into my jars where we'll get them capped and put into the canner. But yeah, it's a pretty color. It smells real good. Too bad y'all can't smell it by the way it looks. My husband's home for more. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Wipe your tops up here, your rims up. The way they're clean, you get a good seal. Got my lids. There you go, nothing wrong with them. Expect all that, and they're new. Put my band on. Put on their finger tight. It's really hot through this door. I'm gonna put it on the rack. As soon as I get all the rest of them done, we'll put the rack down in. 
So we'll come back to that here in just a second. Okay, I've got my rack filled here and we'll drop it down to the canner. And it would be good with water except that tall one in the middle there. So I gotta add some more water to it. Try not to dump it right on the jars to try to miss those. Okay, now we gotta wait for it to get a boil. And then we'll boil it for 10 to 15 minutes before I remove the jar. So we'll come back to that here in a few. Okay, so we got a full rolling boil finally. That took forever. So put the lid on it and then a minimum of 10 minutes. So it would be 544 to let that boil and then we'll turn it off and go from there. The jars have boiled and I turned them off and they've been sitting. So now it's time to remove them. Setting them on the towel, they'll have about an inch between each jar. We ended up with, um, say seven half pints and one pint. So I was off on that. And then we'll leave them set on the towel here to cool for 12 24 hours before you hear the check the seal but we will hopefully hear pinging beforehand that way we know that they are good to go it's like the happiest sound ever when you hear the jars ping but there we have her one more to go oh that one already did it all right Okay, and there we have it. Oh, that one pinged too. That's awesome. That, that is Canon Blackberry Jam. Thank you all very much.